Hey there, I'm Critzy. Welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. It's still loading, so it's technically showing up as black on the game capture, but I promise I have the game open. Anyway, last thing we left off, we were looking for, uh... God, you know, the painter. I can never remember her name. Oh, there it is! There's the game! Uh, what's her name? I... Sarah Hawkins! There we go. You know, there's a song that Sarah Hawkins sings when you're looking for, well, when you're in the hospital and incidentally find her, <clears throat> and I can't, can't find it. I've listened to the whole freaking soundtrack of Call of Cthulhu, and I can't find that. Like, it doesn't even need to be a full song, I just want to find that. But, <clears throat> you know... I guess it's going to be one of those great mysteries that I'll never be able to solve because, I don't know, I didn't feel like including it, the one song with vocals, even if it's just like a couple lines of vocals, man, whatever, anyway, now we're going to the abandoned whaling station and there's a ton of like blue guys who really don't want me to eat them. So they're taking a proactive approach uh, to self-defense. Uh, it's what I like to call self-offense. You see, they walk up to uh, anyone that seems like they might be able to eat a person, uh, you know, such as exhibiting uh, characteristics like having teeth or being able to see them. Okay, I can stop this now. Yep. Where, where already did this? Where Sarah, he looked in? Is with those bastards. I gotta find her quick. Uh huh. I'm I'm pretty sure Sarah's like with those bastards now. I'm, I think like that's. I think she's switched sides, and I'm probably gonna have to kill her. What's this that? This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. Uh huh. Do we got like a puzzle here, or is there gonna be like another stealth segment? I don't want another stealth segment. Stairs? Nope. Locked. Why can I attempt to pick all other locks in the game? Hmm? There it is again. I heard it. Sarah Hawkins was probably taken behind this huge door. I don't think she was to taken. Find a way to get through. Yes. I love this game, man. Fuller was a crew member too. Interesting. Uh huh. The morning is biting cold. <clears throat> this creature made us work hard. Half my crew is dead, and I've never seen such a thing. <clears throat> I don't even know how to describe what happened. It's as if the creature was talking inside our heads. Some of my men went crazy and jumped overboard. This thing is not even a whale, it's far bigger. I don't even know how to describe it. Again, it's practically gutted our ship with its tentacles. I don't know how my harpoon finally pierced this monster, but the crew is in a sorry state. Fuller looks after the injured, but that, but something will not recover. I hit escape too early. <laughs> Oh, I found I found it already. All right, I see.
I gotta say, hearing it in reality isn't as good as hearing it in the fucking nether sphere. Sorry for swearing. Distasteful. More. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Mm -hmm. These are the last entries of the pastor's wife. Her husband ordered his faithful to come together uh, for a final ceremony in the honor of the Leviathan. She fears that the pastor will ask them to sacrifice themselves to this abomination. She tries to escape. This is probably why her body was found in the cave under the mansion. Was it? Looks like a page from a log from 1847. <clears throat> oh. Friday the 4th, June 1847. 53 north, 53 west. We're starving. The fish seems to have deserted these waters. If I don't act quickly uh, to find an answer in this crisis, Fitzroy could, well, set off a mutiny. Each day, more and more men believe in the tales of a miraculous catch. Merciful God, help me. Wednesday the 9th, June 1847. 51, 57 north, 51 west. We've sighted an enormous whale further to the south. It's the biggest we've ever seen. Uh, Fitzroy keeps telling the men that this is the miraculous catch he promised them. We will catch it and bring it home to feed our families. Fe feeding that thing to your family is probably not a good idea. You've invited some kind of island-wide mutation that leaves them all susceptible to psychic influences. Sperm whale. Something whale. Something whale. Now, where's where's the Leviathan on that little map? I love this part. I love parts that aren't hiding, running, or potentially shooting. A rope and a hook. You could use that to hold the reservoir back. Oh, I love, I love it, I love it. I mean, it's repetitive, but like, it's good for the vibe. Are these pews? No, these are like uh, benches for debriefing. Do whalers need to debrief? I mean, like, man, you don't be in on a ship, especially back when like the entire thing needed to be constantly maintained, like down to the ropes and stuff. I feel like being on a ship would like really impart this kind of like pack mentality onto you, like. Everybody's got to be constantly doing their job or else everybody dies, right? I've been writing a sci-fi character who was like raised on this nomadic uh, Fleet of really old spaceships and I kind of use that as part of their mentality Red if it's still sharp. <laughs> Like I'm gonna use a knife I don't hit anyone. It mentions the Leviathan. <laughs> he drove the sailors mad. <clears throat> Friday, June 27th. F y yeah, okay. 1847. 37 north, 63 west. The whole crew has descended into madness. They speak of dreams, visions of a nightmarish city, and of a sleeping god. Madness! I've locked myself in my cabinet. Cabin. cabin. <clears throat> I won't be able to hold out for long. Fitzroy has 12 men on his side. They sacrificed everyone who tried to stop them in order to their new god. I beseech ye, almighty god, have pity on our souls. This will be my last prayer. I can hear them whispering. That's weirdly easy. Okay, so I figure I gotta hitch the rope up, right, and then tie it to something. This should stop the cart from moving. This should help me get the tank swinging. 
I'm not excited to figure out what's going on on the other side of that door. I'm gonna have to like kill Doesn't Sarah. Work. I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. Oh, oh. Uh, since when are those elastic? Excuse me? I don't think those are rubber. Yeah, it's fine. You know, I don't know nothing about whaling stations. Stealthy. Yeah, man. I don't like that it has tense music now. <clears throat> that means I'm gonna have to hide. Sarah? I can't see anything far away because of this sharpening. Oh, we got like a whole place in here. What do you mean? What? What's scaring me? What is that thing? What is what thing? What is that thing? No. It's him. That voice. You're the Leviathan. They didn't kill it. They took it home. I've seen it now. I should leave. I should leave immediately. Uh, eloquence. I'm gonna talk down the Leviathan. Wait, hang on. Uh, I forgot to confirm it. Where, where's the confirm button? I can't remember. QE. Submenus. Reset. Add. Remove. Validate. There we go. Yes. Alright, I wanted to check, uh... The Leviathan. The true appearance of the Leviathan was revealed. No man could support this vision without going mad. Pierce set his eyes upon this cosmic being, and his mind suffered a new attack. He is trapped in the whaling station with the Leviathan and must endure a series of ordeals if he wants to survive this encounter. His choices will bear serious consequences uh, for his sanity. So, like... Is that, like, actively draining my sanity? Or... Or is it just like a no-no area that I can't go to? Just don't look at it. Deliberate in ignorance is a valid protection from the arcane. <laughs> so where do I gotta go? Can't see a god dang thing because I'm trying to ignore the Leviathan. I don't look at it, surely it'll be fine. Nope. Can't, can't climb that. Nah. Okay, so if not that way, then where? Hmm? Uh huh. It's 
It is alive. It's moving. Oh. I'm fuck. I'm a. I'm a. Am I dead? Did I just lose? Did I just get Levia slimed? I refuse. Or do I? Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. Who's there? Your stubbornness at wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Faith leads us inevitably to solitude, and in one's final moments one is always alone. You can't escape it forever. It will always find its way. Damn it! Where am I? Oh, there it is. Y'all shouldn't be eating that. What is that? They eat his flesh while he's still alive. Wow. Is he into that? Am I just like here to let him go or or does he want this? Is he like Yeah, baby, eat eat me. Let me Let me give you that. Let me hook you up with them superpowers. You want a squid face? Man, I can hook you up with that. No problem. I don't think I want to be down here. No, I don't. I didn't want to come down here. Pierce. No, man. Not yet, anyway. Oh, there she is. So then what's this if, if I'm not going over there? Huh? Should have given him time to calm down in case he sees the man. I think I just accidentally went the wrong, di right direction. Can I open this? Yep. The door is blocked on the other side. Is it now? You mean the side that I'm on? <sighs> la 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 la. Learn to obey. Oh man, I'm in the timeout room again. Ah oh, man. Dr. Fuller. Ah, finally awake. How do you feel, Mr. Pierce? Where do you go? Fuller! Son of a bitch! I'll kill you! <laughs> no, 
No, I'm not even really with you. Well, to be perfectly precise, I am with you. But not in this cell. What have you done to me? Me? Nothing, really. See, it's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible creature. Uh, Leviathan! I see you already know about it. Well, shall we begin? I mean, if we're having a conversation in my mind palace, uh, I, I do have some questions. What do you mean, shell? Well, okay. What is that? Oh, I can't not take it. I said no. <coughs> but here I go. I've been treated. They're eating her! And then they're going to eat me! Oh my god! See, because cause it reminds me. You know, the way they're, like, eating with their hands like trolls? Who are they? I'm gonna see your faces. Who's that? God, those are gross sounds. Please don't. Well, here I go. I mean, it probably doesn't taste that bad. Don't eat the meat. Does it taste good at least, Pierce? Let Can you take a describe it? From you. Flesh, blood, spinal fluids. Don't fear. I created the mythological icor from Leviathan's flesh. Who knows what I can make with you? I need your body for my research. Seem pretty chill about it. Don't take the gun. I couldn't even choose it for a minute. <laughs> I, I killed it. Unnecessary sacrifice that proves your determination. I didn't wanna. I don't wanna. Don't look at it. Look at the clown. Uh, how's your how's your sanity, Pierce? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I should have. Find the truth and be free. Mm-hmm. Leviathan man probably has like total control over this entire facility. It's probably not the Okay. Is that like her? Yeah, you know this uh, that does this does look like a place that would hurt my sanity. And you know I would imagine the Leviathan would have total control of this place. Nothing's happening. I can't even access my journal. I'm in a reconstruction right now, I think. Leave it. Dang it, I can't. Oh. Oh. You can fall off, by the way. Ah. Uh, uh. 
Oh, I see. That wasn't real. What? Oh, I see! I solved it. I guess. Oh, I mean, if that's the way I'm supposed to go, I'm gonna explore what else might be over here. Wow. Got some crazy stuff going on. Can't just walk through it? Bitch, Han is real! I love this. Does it show me, like, which pipe I gotta follow? Uh, yeah, 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 it does. Kind of. Uh, kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, oh man, they did a... They really designed this area to be very confusing. I'm thinking uh, this this one. Ooh, look at that, everyone! I I did a puzzle. I didn't even need help. I can't tuck out my lantern. Right, <clears throat> got a note. All right, furthest one towards the rightmost one. Okay. Or is this? Okay, not the furthest one. Okay. Apparently, I had to make note of which one was correct. Also. All right, so that's the left one, I think. It's a really confusing navigation, <laughs> which is doubtless the point. <clears throat> Sorry I got that stuck in my head. Oh, thanks Leviathan. Illuminate me. What the fuck did I do? What did you make me do? Oh my god. A beam falls on Peterson, he dies. Huh? There we go. No, okay, apparently going that way is, is no. Don't go that way. I guess. Sure. Okay. 
Pierce crossed the docks where an old. Yep. I'll read that if I die again. So is it like a time thing? A beam falls on me? It's so chaotic, and I think, again, that's that's the point. Oh, shit, man. It is a time thing. Hello. Oh, God, it's loud. Here's Crux, the docks where old acquaintances and new face met as vice and slaves were sleeping in search of a mm, yummy meal. But they can't find them, so they started eating themselves, and they found out it's really good. Which started a new wave of self-cannibalism, auto-cannibalism-related paranoia in all of the villagers. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 go. Oh, shit. Surely, using the Leviathan oil for illumination has been a poor call. Burn it? Burn the Leviathan, man. Who was that? Here's... Fitzroy. Time to hoist the white flag. We're not gonna hurt you. Wh oh I won't go without a fight. They just said they're not gonna... Well. You think you're here of your own accord. Stay back, or I'll put a bullet in your head. He looks so done with this. He's like, Pierce, come on. <laughs> Our supreme oracle has spoken. Follow your destiny. I can barely hear you. What? Pierce, my dude. Yeah, that would have been pretty hot. Oh no, I'm like in the water with the Leviathan, aren't I? I see. You cannot escape my awareness. Shoot it. It's not over? That wasn't the finale? Pierce finally met the Leviathan in flesh and blood. The monstrous creatures sub submitted him to a series of ordeals, at the end of which he decided that the detective was ready to face his destiny. Pierce blew up the whaling station after a final confrontation with Leviathan, and he passed out. I know that one. I know that one. I know that place. I've been there before. Oh, Jesus. There's the... 
There's a whaling station. There's a lighthouse that I'm going to be given an exorcism on, which I'm into. I want to be exorcised, please. Where's the book, man? El Elgamangnan, El Elgernan, El Elderon, Alderon. Please, get, get the squid out of my brains. Okay, Truth, can you help me? This way. Truth doesn't like me. Stand up. Walk. Is somebody there? Hey. Who are you? Oh no, Pierce, you're not in control. You're being driven. Where am I? Oh, I'm driving again. Oh, my screen. Oh. That's him. But what's that other thing? The miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. What is that thing that he's around, though? more coffee but I don't got it might pause it for a second and get some god Pierce please steady yourself You're giving me a headache man to our fallen crew members they have given their lives for a greater purpose the last name added is that of Charles Hawkins I'm willing to bet that they killed all the survivors of the miraculous catch uh huh. Don't walk in that, Pierce. It always comes back to the Scylla. It was where it all began. Don't walk into that, Pierce. Oh, shit. I walked into it. Break the painting. None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you fulfilled your destiny. No! Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. Master Investigation. What has happened to you? Oh, Pierce. You insist on ignoring the truth when it's right there in front of you. Sarah Hawkins saw you as you really are. This painting is the proof. This is madness. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Hold them. You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. It's not actually her. 
We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. You're mistaken. I believe no more in destiny than I do in vampires, gods, and their female prophets. Ooh. Oh, well done. That will really... <laughs> Again, this denial. It doesn't matter anymore. The future is now but an image that Sarah Hawkins has painted for you. Why don't you go and join her, you who believe in nothing? And then, you'll see. It's not actually Colton. You'll see that there are truths so powerful, so overwhelming, that even a mind as narrow as yours cannot withstand them. And what is your truth, Colton? <coughs> what is your role in this story? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our oracle. That doesn't actually take any of my sanity. Or it doesn't seem like it does. Sarah, tell me where you took her. We'll find her at Alabaster Point. I'm going to get her. Don't try to stop me. Of she course. just said that she's going to take up. you to her. Get out of my way. Fighting the dead. No one can fight their fate. Neither them, nor you. He's looking all sweaty, greasy. Poor man's been... He's got dark shadows under his eyes. actually works you did it don't resist Edward they're already dead there's nothing you can do just give in he's holding on by a thread no maybe he isn't I love this game. Sarah. I must go to Sarah. She is the oracle. She will know what to do. Ba bad. Bad thinking, Pierce. Don't think like that. That's, that's how they want you to think. No, man. God, I don't like the way you limp, though. I love this game, but I don't love that. You have some serious head trauma, man. Like, lights should not be doing that when you look at them. I'm pretty sure if a light does that when you look at it, that is sign that you have a serious concussion and need to go to the hospital. Because your brain's probably bleeding right now. Like, you feel like you can walk, but you're, you're not, Pierce. You're not good. You're gonna row a boat, my man? I mean, I know I'm the one who's moving right now, but I kind of feel like it's inevitable. I, I can't go anywhere else, really. Oh, that boat's fucked anyway. All right. God, please, Pierce, you're making me feel sick. Just steady yourself on the wall or something. Walk more calmly. After a final confrontation, Pierce must go to Alabaster Point, where Sarah Hawkins is supposed to be waiting for him. There, he must make decisions that could change the destiny of the world. Scoot. Yeah. <gasps> 
Is he finally done limping? He is. I shouldn't be here. Reality as you know it stops here. None of this makes sense. Go. She is waiting. Truth is Algerbang. Maybe. I thought Truth was his voice, his own, but the him being such a snippy jerk and <clears throat> calling Pierce narrow-minded. What have they done to me? Come on. Oh. Ah, uh, Mr. Pierce. I was expecting you. Fuller. You died in front of my eyes. Don't jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. I have it in me. For me, my Her body is does. nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, ah. it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. Sh it's her. He, she, she is. For uh her. -huh. I get the feeling he like transferred his consciousness or something into her. I don't. I don't know, man. What are these rocks? Well, we got square rocks. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny, although in vain, make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. I have to kill her. That's... I've already... I'm already foregone on that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to kill Sarah and then maybe myself. <clears throat> there are bigger things at stake. right to a normal life the moment you chose power over humanity no one wants to see such an unbearable sight you don't have the slightest idea of what you speak of what I've been through I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps my marriage my family my own flesh why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. So you've decided to shut your eyes. Find refuge in denial like a spooked child. 
You've lost your mind. And to think mankind's future is on your shoulders. None of this is real. Trust your guts. <laughs> if nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches? You rejected her hand. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So it's not El. Oh man, I keep drawing these conclusions, and none of them are. Why are there human faces here? This does not seem like a human face kind of land. Uh, reality shouldn't be doing that. Whatever spiritual plane I'm on, I'm sure it's not supposed to do that. Right there? You see that? I don't. Th I don't think it's supposed to do that. What was that thing? What the fuck was that? What is that? Oh my god! What is that? How fucking big is that thing? What is it? Oh no! It's right there! I'm almost there. So reality isn't truth. <coughs> Where does that thing start? see it in the lightning. Where does it start? It's like a tiny little fingertip. And I can't tell what it's part of. Oh, there it is. Here's all these fucking guys. They have the book, man. Here you are at last, truth seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth. Is the book man a captive? All this time I was fighting it. <coughs> afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. Oh. If I was better at getting my occultism... Look around you. Everything is falling apart. You must stop this madness. I can't make that choice. This will be your decision. One man. One man only, prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are. A truth seeker. One of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes! Yes! <coughs> I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written. Or, as I like to see it, Painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me! 
help him. Big quiet. Protect him. Save him. I need him. Perform counter ritual? It's over? I need to pick. Shoot her or save him. shot her. Exorcism? Oh no, I did exactly what I was supposed to do. Oh, I'm... Oh no, that's what... That's what the Leviathan showed me doing. happened if I shot her? I don't think anything would have happened. Like, she wasn't really... She was just the one who directed things, right? So what was him? Well, I have a pretty good idea of what him was, but they never actually mention what him is directly. Uh-huh. Oh, really? What's that? Is there like a scene after?
What happens if you have maximum occultism? I don't know what I missed. Like, that was obvious. Because there was an option that required max occultism that would have told her that she's been cursed. But I'm not sure how I could have gotten that. Huh. Call of Cthulhu is game published by... Thanks for playing! Do I get like a... Do I get a cutscene? Can I see what happens? At least a little bit? Can I... Can I gaze upon the results? Hmm? <clears throat> Wawa. Did I do it? Oh. We doubled the dosage as you asked us to, Doctor. Good. Thank you. Oh, Doctor Fuller. Oh no. Is me. It didn't work. I did exactly what I was told.